Hi, uh, I just wanted to mention this uh, Phantom SDR and I also need some practice in speaking English because uh, I didn't speak English for so long and uh, well my brain has to be reconfigured so to so to speak. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, Phantom SDR, you can find it in Google and you will get this here. This is for guys who want to set up their SDR receiver uh, for the public via internet as web SDR and as a normal user like I am you can just uh, choose any of these SDR receivers and without uh, reg registration or anything you just can use them. There are not very many, it's, it's a private uh, um, it's a guy from Aachen in Germany who does this and uh, there are only a few it changes from time to time sometimes there are more sometimes there, there are less receivers and uh, actually we have 12 um, by the way you can take any SDR receiver it's not like uh, with Kiwi where you can only uh, have Kiwi receivers but you can you can choose any receiver with any frequency range so we have different uh, countries mainly in Europe one is in the USA and uh, <clears throat> let's take this this one is quite nice uh, from Belgium had the several tried this several times just click on tape to enable audio it's all in English language and uh, here we have the audio open additional info Th this varies uh, from user to user. Here we have a uh, space weather forecast which is quite nice. Well, and it's very easy to use. You can just type in a frequency. Um, it recognizes the mode uh, w which will be best AM in this case and then you scroll in with the mouse wheel here is something The rest is quite easy. Uh, here you can change the waterfall colors. You can also choose uh, different types of waterfall. Uh, waterfall zoom you can change to spectrum auto adjust um, here is fine tuning you can also set to zero then it's exactly 
15.225 in this case. Squelch is here. Here you have uh, some noise filters, bandwidth. You can increase or decrease the bandwidth. You can set the. Uh, you can also drag it with your mouse if you like. Tuning steps. And you also have uh, an FT8 decoder here that you just click on and then it starts working. So now we change to USB, which is correct. Auto adjust. See, if you point the mouse over the uh, yellow marker and then scroll, then then uh, use the, the mouse wheel, you change the frequency. Ah, some Russian guys. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, there are some very nice receivers that you can. Uh, ah, here is also a, a chat. You you ch can ju you just type anything. And then it will be displayed. Record function is here. Yeah, that's uh, that's the Phantom SDR. I just wanted to show you. Uh, different receivers have different layouts. Let's see what this this one looks like. That's one from Switzerland. It looks a little bit different, depends on how the user sets it up. Here you have bands. Forty meter, a little bit too early. <laughs> Yeah, France is very near, very close to Switzerland. So that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, maybe you didn't know it already so yeah just try it out you will find all the uh, links in the video description under the video like always so thanks for watching have a good time in these uh, 
chaotic days. <laughs> and uh, see you again.